Hi, I'm Lady Genevieve. I know I'm making this video very late, but when the new Queen Charlotte trailer dropped, I was out of town and I was also getting a cold, which you may be able to hear I am still recovering from. But nonetheless, I wanted to make sure that I did come back at some point and watch it since I held off on doing so, so that I would be able to record it here for my YouTube channel. If you are somehow new to my channel and this is the first video you are watching of me, I have made a number of videos covering the Bridgerton IP, at least as it applies to the various live action media that has been produced for Netflix, so feel free to browse across my channel and my library of videos that are specifically about that if you are interested in doing so. But until then, let's just get into it. Also, on the offhand chance that you are somebody that's new to my channel, when I do reactions, I do edit them a fair bit because I don't want to deal with copyright issues. So if you're looking for a reaction in which I just play it, from start to finish with zero interruptions, this is not the video for you. And that's okay, I'm sure there's probably lots of other videos that I myself have not watched yet because like I said, I've not watched this trailer. So let's see, we've got two people very close to each other's faces and uh, the trailer is just under three minutes long. So yeah, definitely a little bit more material, hopefully, presumably, than the teaser that was released, which I already did a video on if you've not already seen that. So let's just go. Death to the enemies of the people of the Republic. There is reason they wanted me. Why me? Charlotte. Wait, 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 wait. Need to make it full screen. Full screen, let's go. Rewinding it back to the beginning. There is reason. Oh, we're out in the English countryside. See how beautiful nature is when you don't let capitalists destroy it to pillage it for natural resources and also land that you can exploit and destroy for money. Ugh. Why me? Charlotte, but there are worse fates than marrying the King of England. Do I want to go there? Do I want to address this? Do I want to get into this? We've only just begun. We're 10 seconds into it. Do I really want to go on an anti-monarchy rant already? There's probably more time for that, yeah? I wouldn't want to marry the King of England. And if any of you would, I think you're lying or I think you're politically naive. It is time we were united as a society. No, no, okay. I'm irritated. I. <laughs> How far are we into this? 15, 16 seconds in. <sighs> this is the conversation that's been had since season one came out, and that was before I had even started watching the show, let alone covering it for my YouTube channel. Interracial marriages within a monarchy, especially an English monarchy, are not a band-aid to resolve and completely eradicate systemic racism, be it on a legislative level or on a cultural level or both. I'm annoyed, I'm irritated, but okay, let's get into it. I need them to stop saying words that relate to any of that. Just be cute together. That's what I'm here for. Because every time you say something ignorant, I'm gonna get annoyed when I should just be enjoying the romantic vibes. Give me the yearning, the longing looks. That's what I want to see. You and your man with the eyebrows. Okay, let's go. You will make lots of babies. As many babies as possible for my son. Oh, no, 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 no. I know this guy, Gene, is not to make babies? Homicide. My life as queen was difficult. Oh, but da, da. If there's one thing I don't want to see, it's the present day queen talking about how challenging it was for her to be queen. What? Uh, no. Queen Charlotte on the main Bridgerton series, she's perfectly fine as this entertaining secondary foil. She's there and she serves a certain purpose in being entertaining and causing problems for the core group of characters, particularly people in the Bridgerton family or for perhaps Penelope, but I'm sorry, like I cannot, I cannot watch the main Bridgerton show and feel sympathetic to the queen when she's just sitting in her palace all day, worrying about nonsense that's just petty 
and making no moves to improve the material living conditions of the people of this universe. No, absolutely not. Tell me about the king. Is he ugly, perhaps deformed? Where is her man? Yes. Where's the love yeah. interest? Where is he right now? I'm bored. Where is he? Hello, my lady. Oh my God, 45 seconds in, it took that yes, long no, for him I'm to show to up to show us the thing we've already Whatever seen. For. You refuse to help a lady in distress. I would be distressed too if you were trying to make me marry an English monarch. I refuse when she's trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. You could rob him. That would be a good reason to marry him. Rob him. Redistribute his wealth to the people of England and the rest of the world for that matter. To you. I'm George. Now here we go. Not them being cute together. See all this ranting and the, now they're looking at each other and I'm going, oh, wait a minute. But if you will give me one evening of your time, it might make you hate me a little bit less. That's a reasonable idea. Valentina, your smile is beautiful. The pieces fall into place. But they are cute. Oh, oh, we're getting steamy content in the trailer. Love that. Your Majesty and Lady Agatha Danbury. Lady Danbury, I love young Lady Danbury. Charlotte now require privacy. Require privacy? To do what? Little big, little big, I don't know, we will find out! What's happening? I do not want to fight. I want to fight with you! I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. Ah. You are our queen. Ew, 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 ew. Not you wearing the stolen jewels. Where are they from? India? Africa? Perhaps both. Can you maybe try to, like, look like you're having fun? I'm the most royal person I've ever known. That's not a compliment. That's not a compliment. That's not a compliment. I hate to break it to you, but I'm gonna. I've made this point multiple times on my channel, but on the offhand chance that you're new here and you've not heard me talk about this before. There is plenty of room within the Bridgerton universe to do a sequel series, to do a spin-off series, to do a prequel series um, about so many other people that are not Queen Charlotte. I think this is an important conversation to have even if it does start to become repetitive because absolutely nothing has changed no matter how many times I or any other person on the internet brings this up. They really fumbled their execution with Bridgerton with trying too hard to ground it in reality. That's not why people watch the Bridgerton show. They don't watch it for it to be connected to real life. The whole point is that it's not real. The whole point is that it's some fantastical version of the universe where you can pretend that anybody of any ethnic or cultural background or heritage can participate in the superficial aesthetic of Regency romances. That's what it's for. So you trying to make it some sort of empowering moment for uh, somebody to become the figurehead of one of the most violent, oppressive institutions in the entire world. It's ridiculous. I hope that whenever the series comes out, which I've not watched it yet, I don't know if I'll get screeners or not, but I hope that when it comes out, it can just put more of a focus on the chemistry and the vibes between the two leads. Because for as much ranting as I've done in discussing and watching this trailer, I do like the moments where you have your two leads making eyes with each other and just really showcasing their chemistry with one another and the work that these two performers have done to be scene partners and really bring that connection to life and try to give some added uh, weight and substance to the emotional baggage of any time they've alluded to the love story between Queen Charlotte and her husband before he has now sadly almost entirely succumbed to whatever ailment he's meant to have in the present day canon of the Bridgerton series. It's not present day at all. It's all a period piece, but you know what I mean. If there's one thing that I appreciate about Bridgerton is that there is production value, the overall aesthetic of the show as far as costumes and going to these locations that still exist in England that any time a period piece is being shot at, they go to whatever the long list that they have of whether it's the exterior or interior that needs to be shot. It makes for a far more immersive viewing experience. It allows the audience to better feel like they are getting to be in this universe that's being created. For better or worse though, I'm glad that it's a limited series. It's 
I believe six episodes. We can all have our uh, conflicted mixed bag of emotions once the show finally drops. One thing I will say though is that I thought it was a very weird choice considering that the show is called Queen Charlotte, so we know that it's first and foremost about her, but the fact that they took so long to have her main endgame love interest appear in the trailer. It was, what, not halfway through, but almost a third, over 30% through the runtime of the trailer, and then he finally shows up in the same way that we've seen him show up every time they've done any amount of promo for this series. What I want to see more than anything that's going to incentivize me to be more aggressive in trying to promote the show and trying to get more eyeballs on it is uh, the love story. The chemistry between the two leads is ultimately what gets people invested. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that the chemistry between Jonathan Bailey and Simone Ashley is the reason why a year later you can post a clip of those two in any number of really intense scenes that they had together in Bridgerton season two, and it will just completely blow up and go viral because people want chemistry. They really want to see that palpable energy between two performers that are playing a love story and bringing it to life. I hope that if they do any further promotional releases in the form of something like a trailer, that they give more of that glimpse of hinting at the chemistry and the you know, whatever type of energy these two performers have with one another, because to me, that's the main selling point. I think that you trying to make it out to be an empowerment story is completely ideologically tone deaf to do because of any and every reason that has already been given about the very real violent legacy of monarchy. So just don't go there. Like, I hate that they keep putting her getting crowned into the promo that it's supposed to be this big, fabulous, empowering moment. Because every single time I see an Eng English crown, it's always some stolen jewel from India or Africa or both. So it's not fun for me to look at that. You did not do enough to separate your canon of your Bridgerton universe on this ongoing series from real life history that exists outside of the show. That's your mishandling of the situation. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you everyone for being patient with me as I recover from this cold. And yes, it is a cold. I took a test, it's a cold. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps out my channel. And also feel free to browse some of the other things I've been posting recently. I did the junket for the upcoming Grease prequel series, Rise of the Pink Ladies, and that was super fun to do. I also interviewed the director of She's the Man, which is one of my all time favorite films. So getting to talk to him was absolutely unreal for me. Lots of things are happening with me and, and my channel. Definitely circle back because we're going to keep talking about Queen Charlotte. We've only got about a month until the show comes out, so clearly there will be more videos to come about not only that, but Bridgerton season three, whenever that series gets its promotional momentum going. Thank you everyone for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.